Hi everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junkmaster3. And today it's time for a pretty big update, update video because I received uh, a couple of movies today in a box or whatever that I ordered from videodrum.se. Um, but I'm going to show you that in the in the like uh, in the end of the video instead. So I'll just show everything else that I picked up in the recent weeks or so. So uh, yeah, let's begin right away. First off, we got you guess what an Emilio Estevez movie called uh, A Dollar for the Dead. This was a TV movie made in I think 98 or 97 or something. Uh, but I saw it was Emilio Estevez and I saw that it was some sort of western uh, movie so I just had to pick it up so yeah. Uh, a Dollar for the Dead. Yeah. And then we have a movie which I've always wanted to see but it's been out of print and out of stock uh, every time I've uh, tried to order it. But the movie is Red Dawn, the original with uh, Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen and yeah. It's a really great cost this so yeah. Red Dawn. And then we have uh, a movie called Bloody Movie. Some sort of cool 80s. Sorry for the glare. It's just uh, Bloody Movie. This is also known as Terror Night or something like that. I'm not really sure but yeah, I really love this cover art, but yeah, bloody movie, or Terror Night, I think it was Terror Night. Um, and then we have the uh, Slumber Party Massacre to collection. I already had the first movie, but I decided to pick up this triple pack with uh, all the three movies, because the other two are kind of fun as well. Sure, they are, I, I mean, they're sort of bad, they're so bad they're good, so the second one is just bizarre and weird as hell, but there's that's the reason why I love it. So uh, it also comes with uh, some sort of bonus features that have never been seen before, or whatever. So yeah, really looking forward to watch the other two as well. Uh, yeah, Slumber Party Massacre collection. And then we got the Psycho collection, which includes Psycho One, Psycho Two, Psycho Three. Yeah, Psycho Four. You get the you get the idea. Uh, I've only seen the first one and I've always been curious about the other ones because it, they seem to be underrated. Of course the first one is a masterpiece but I think the, sec the second one, especially the second one, is really underrated. I've not really seen the, I've never seen the movies themselves but I've heard they're supposed to be underrated so yeah. The Psycho Collection. Really glad to have the other movies as well. Now I see movies that I've already shown you in my previous update I believe but yeah. Bloody Cult and uh, More Cherry, I think I've already shown you that, those two movies, so yeah. And then we got Transylvania Twist. Never seen this, but looks really cool. Yeah. Then we have the Basket Case Collection or Trilogy. Um, not seen any one of those, but it seems to be really cool, so yeah. Sorry for the very bad lighting in here because it's yeah pretty bad. Um, and then we got Cold Fish. Um, yeah, it's directed by the same guy who did who did Suicide Club, which I still haven't seen, but I've only heard good things about Cold Fish, so I had to pick it up. It was so, so pretty, uh, cheap as well. Now this is a movie which I don't really know what the English title is, but the Italian title is Sotto il Vesito Niente, and it has uh, Donald Pleasence in it and Rene Toft Simonsen, and the movie is uh, yeah Sotto il V Sotto il Vesito Niente. I'm not really sure what the yeah like I said the original title or the English title is, but probably going to link it down below or something. So yeah. And then we have a collection uh, called Jävla Djur, uh, which basically means fucking animals, um, which includes uh, the lost shark, tentacles and uh, rats. The movie called Rats is directed by Bruno Mattei, who also directed um, Zombie 2 and... No, was it Zombie? No, Zombie 3. <sighs> so confusing about those titles, but yeah. I've seen The Lost Shark and Tentacles, they were so-so, they were okay, uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to see Rats as well, so, yeah. 
and then I actually forgot to show you some or put out some titles so uh, be right back um, let's see here which ones the that was it was that one that one and that one and that one <laughs> sorry for this I had to do that before instead but yeah then we have a movie which I've already had before but the disc started to screw everything up and it was uh, skipping back and forward and yeah it was just bad so I had to pick it up again but I love this movie and it's so hilarious and stupid so yeah it's Sushi Typhoon so yeah Dead Ball uh, yeah it's basically what it sounds like <laughs> really stupid and funny yeah Sushi Typhoon at its, at its best and uh, then we have House 3 also known as The Last Horror Show I believe no The Horror Show sorry uh, so finally got the three movies. I know there's a fourth one out there as well, but I've only heard bad things about it, so I don't think I'm going to pick it up anyways. So, yeah. House 2. No, House 2. House 3, sorry. <laughs> House 3 um, or The Lost Horror Show. Yeah, whatever. And then we have the double pack which I showed you in my previous review video. Howling, Howling 3 and Howling 4. And then I also picked up Howling 6. I already had Howling 5 in some update video I did before, so yeah. Um, and then I picked up this because this disc started to yeah, screw, uh, go and skipping and uh, stuff like that. So I had to pick up this movie as well. Um, Night of the Demons 2. Really love this one as well. The third one is pretty crappy in my opinion, but yeah, the first two ones are yeah, great, spectacular, great, amazing movies. And then, last of all, we got this package which I received from Videodrome that I ordered. Um, and finally it arrived. Um, and there, have, there is some VHS movies here. Uh, first we got... Uh, I'm not really sure how to open this, but she's the same. Um, three...